This is the Ellie Toys Traino Italo. There's a picture of the prototype, which is uh, Alstom. It's so well presented. So it's one of these going for £65 on eBay and I've got this. This is second hand for 25 quid. Now it's, it's second hand, it's used in as much as the box has been opened but, but it's not been used. So let's take the camera down and have a look at it. So Scala HO it's HO scale Got the trees, the Good accessories, look. radio control forward, reverse and speed. This is the reason why it caught my eye. This track is exactly the same as the Hornby track. It has the same connections, the same fittings, um, the same the same power poles for the catenary, the same trees. The difference, of course, with this is that it comes with remote control. So we've got um, speed and forward and reverse. This is probably a really, really simple affair. But like I said, you know, Hornby proficient enough to have made something like that for the junior could have been done look at that that really is good so there's the same kind of level of detail on this as the Hornby there's the undercarriage detail there the yeah there's some reasonable detail on the bogies the wheels are much more like ordinary model railway wheels they're not uh, they're not thick and fat although they are still small but then again perhaps on something like this larger wheels would have probably made it look uh, less effective, but I have to say that this the uh, the style of this the lines they've really really captured the uh, the lines of this this uh, this train. Got a windscreen wiper there, real glazing for the lights. Really really impressive. Some lovely detail on the roof. I mean this wouldn't look bad on any layout to be honest with you when you've got something like this running around a good layout at speed they look great so let's put that down there the passenger car there lots of detail lots of roof detail some fine detail here has a uh, has a pantograph doesn't work but then again I wouldn't expect it to work on a toy train so what do we have? we have a second passenger car and ah this is the this is the driving unit I can feel straight away and just looking under there you can see the motor so the motor is actually fitted onto the bogey itself. Look at that, that's really... 
Okay. And by the feel of it, it's four-wheel drive. I like that. Spring-loaded. Wow, that's impressive. And there's the uh, the battery housing here. So it looks like it takes more batteries than the Hornby. And the on-off switch is here on the side. This small, almost unnoticeable. But that just turns the power on. As this is uh, driven by RC. Let's have a quick look at the... Uh... Wow. Not really sure what this is all about, to be honest with you, but uh, it's the lounge. There's the door. So there's a the lounge, probably for a uh, little cocktail bar on the station platform. So the bogies are here. This is interesting. Here are the bogies. And there is some kind of um they're, they're not spring loaded but that feels like a, a metal mechanism in there like that it's on a, a metal pole inside there just has that feel and weight about it okay so then well let's get the camera down and see if we can put this together right i've got some track laid out there and I've got the whole four car unit ready to go on the rails and I've put the lounge bar there as well here's the RC unit, now these bogies, let's see how they work so I'm going to assume that I put this on the track oh that really really feels good and then I'll need to, let me come around this side, just uh, slot down onto there and then the front bogey is connected and now we're on. This may prove a little more difficult. I've got to line up two of these at the same time. Well, let's just put one on. Let's see if I can then put the other one on that wasn't too bad I must say this is a really really good idea it is fiddly because these move let me put that on and then Using two hands, that's yeah, trying to do it with one hand. It's on like that. And the last one, slide on like that. And put the bogey on there. Wow, the way the bogies connect, they actually have the corridor the gangway connector built in as part of the part of the whole bogey I mean that's going to be a really really strong connection that's not going to come apart and it really really is simple it's quite fiddly to get them on but I was trying to do that with one hand and it's the first time I've done it I'm sure after a few times you get used to the the knack of doing that Well I'm back and it's now Monday, it's a bank holiday so I've got the day off work. Uh, I decided to leave the review yesterday, I've been videoing all morning with more of the Hornby so I decided to save it, no rush. Uh, anyway, what I've done last night instead was some uh, research on this set and I've found out that this is actually um, a Lima set now it's made by le toys and the, the 
the company, the mother company of that is Level. Uh, can't find out much about them. But this was issued, this set was issued in July 2017. So it's not very old. I know the train itself turns out to be a very iconic Italian high-speed train. Um, very iconic machine. And the reason why this is so well produced for a battery operated toy train is that it is an actual Lima model. So what I've got here in a 25 quid toy train it's the same bodywork as the uh, the full price track powered version. So some information then about the actual prototype. It's an AGV type train um, and that's an updated TGV as used in France on the uh, SNCF has railway. A, a maximum speed of 360 kilometers per hour that's 220 miles per hour. So the full name for this is the NTV Alston AGV 575 and that's what we have here. This uh, Italo and the symbol for that is very very well printed Italo there and then you have this very tiny Italian flag. The colour is Bordeaux and in this uh, Bordeaux and black it looks so elegant. It really does. Now this is the club class exactly the same as the prototype on the... now the driving unit is club the dummy unit is smart cinema and the two passenger cars are just smart and that's how it is on the prototype um, this is a four piece unit I think the actual prototype they run up to something like 11 to 14 units so you would have uh, a premio coach uh, uh, car for the first class and a few others. Now Lima uh, being owned by Hornby as pretty much all of the European uh, model railway manufacturers are owned by Hornby um, that explains clearly why we've got the same uh, bits and pieces and the same track so essentially what we're looking at here is a Hornby set. Um, the, the, the full price electric version is Lima but sometimes it goes under the brand Lima Hornby. So that's what we've got here. Now what I have done, I have not set the track up and I've not tried this train on any track at all. What I have done is put the batteries in. Now on this on the side here is a very small on off switch and if I switch that on we get flashing lights on the front and they really are quite good lights let me get that into the frame there you can see there's a there's a whole console there really well shaped plastic uh, an actual brightly lit uh, tube and the LED is right at the back there shining through that. So that's there. Now with the batteries in here three treble A batteries if I then push the direction switch the lights stop flashing on the, the locomotive on the driving unit there this uh, flashes that's off look and then that's telling me that it's on and we're forward 
I won't do that on the table but if I just with my thumb ready and the sound comes in as well when I'm at full speed and reverse and I can see from the wheels that that is actually travelling in reverse so I'm more than pleased with this this is now just turned into something really really good for 25 quid okay trains ready with the flashing light We're off. Slow speed. Bring that up a little bit. Okay, slowing down then. Right, the sound's off. Very, very gently. That's quite slow, even slower. And slower, as if I'm pulling into a station. Well, wow, that's quite impressive for something like this. Okay, the station's there. No, it's still going slower. <laughs> it had some more. And there you go. Wow, that's not bad. That not bad there is ideal. It looks prototypical. It works perfectly. And that connection system is absolutely superb. I'm really, really pleased with this set. And... Uh, in the near future that will be running on my full size layout up in the attic that's definitely going to go for a run in the loft I'd like to see if I can get it to go faster I may have to uh, get inside it and see what I can do but I'm sure there'll be a tear down of this one at some time in the future so there you go that wraps up this uh, unboxing review and track test of the NTV Alstom AGV 575 high speed train. Hope you enjoyed the video uh, as much as I've enjoyed making it and playing with this train and I'll see you soon. All the best. <laughs>